Anel, how are you, sir? I'm very well, thank you. Good. Another fight week. Uh, what's the excitement level? How are you feeling coming in uh, to this fight? Feel good. Feel amazing. Um, best cut of weight, you know, only seven pounds. Uh, no injuries. Feel amazing. Coming in with seven, is, is this is that a lot lower than normal? Did you make some just overall sort of life changes coming into this camp? Or Yeah, I was more focused. Cook less, you know. I like cook <laughs> at home. And... Uh, I follow all the programs, the nutrition uh, that UFCPI gave me, and um, yeah, more disciplinate, I'll be. <laughs> You're speaking to my heart when you're talking about cooking. Obviously, I like to do. I love cooking. Cook. I love. What's, cook. what's your specialty? What do, What do you like to cook? I uh, actually I, uh, I do everything. Even my guys here, I bring all my team from Portugal, and uh, for release my stress of the curry weight, I cook for him, for my guys. Uh, to feel good, to smell the food, everything, you know. I, I love cook. I know a lot of times the UFC used to do, I don't know if they're still doing it, where they were provided some meals and stuff, yeah. but all the way through this week, are you still making your own food or? Uh, no. no. This week uh, I follow the program, and, but normally I do my own food, you know. What do you make for uh, after a victory? What's your victory meal that you like to make? Uh, yes, it's a good, I think it's uh, going to be a tomahawk. Or ribeye. Oh, the big tomahawk. The big, yeah, big, big tomahawk. Big, big tomahawk. Steak. Big steak. Big steak. I love the big steak. You know, pasta and uh, big barbecue. And uh, of course, the deer, the animal deer. I want to I wanna eat the deer. Have you had it before? Or is this just yeah, yeah, I have. I had it before. It's very lean. It. it is very lean. It's very lean. I like the hunt, uh, hunt food. Very cool. Uh -huh. All right, well, let's just talk about this matchup. When you, uh, when you were given this matchup, uh, what was your initial thoughts? Was this somebody that was on your radar? Oh, it's, it's a good fight, you know. St stylistic, uh, makes sense. You have a uh, good knockout power. Uh, me too. I think we are the, the best of the division zones knockout, uh, if I'm not wrong. And, um, but overall, I'm the better fighter, you know. You can see I have uh, more submits than him. Um, I, 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 I'm better than him in uh, all the aspects of the, the, the fighter, you know. He's just a, a striking guy, you know, never been, uh, never submit anybody, you know. And uh, this fighter can change a little bit. Is that, I know you want to go out there and you've always, you tend to, fights don't tend to last too long, you know, they yes. tend to be a little bit more explosive. But is there any part of you that ever, wanted a fight to maybe go a little bit longer so you could show some of these other skills? Or is it you happy going out there and just having people think like, wow, stay away from this guy's striking? No, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with my, uh, my results, you know. Finish the fight early to commemorate early, you know, celebrate, you know, with my, with my team. I like the finish the fight early. I like to finish the fight early. And it seems your opponent, most of his wins have either came via stand-up or striking as well. So mm. does that excite you coming into a matchup, knowing that you're going to at least what looks like on paper somebody that's going to be willing to, to stand and bang with you? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if um, is is uh, will be the, um, what, what I can say, is have this attitude to strike with me, you know. I don't know. He, he can show a different game, but... I, I don't know if he have the balls to do this, you know. If uh, one, if my hands touch in his in his face or in his body, he's gonna feel the the the, the power that he never feel in flyweight division. I was gonna say, how quickly does that, that does that transition? How quickly do you see that transition in your opponent's eyes? Is it usually one punch, or you need a couple? Just punches? one punch. Just one punch. Everybody when feel my, uh, my 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 hands, they, I can see that the body language change everything. And I, when I see the body language change everything, I'm gonna hunt you in. And when I'm going to hunt him, he's not going to escape anyway. So I guess goal for this fight, are you going out there to hunt him? Or is, is just getting a win and continuing the streak good enough? Not just going to win. The way I'm going to win, you know. For me, always, uh, I want a, a beautiful, beautiful win. And I train for that. And I have a good surprise for this fight. Yeah. Do you have a, I, well, I know a lot of fighters don't like to do a prediction, but I mean, are you feeling a, a knockout in the first round? Is that what you're, you're predicting? First, first round, if it's first round, I'm going to submit him. If no, if I be wrong, I'm going to knock out him in second round, 100%.
And then I guess outside of this fight, looking towards the rest of 2022, what sort of goals are you setting for yourself? My goal after this fight is have one more fight, then fight for the belt. This is my goal. That sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. Last one on the fight. What needs to happen to make sure that you get your arm raised at the end of the night? Your keys to the victory. You know, this fight for me, for me, for everybody, is the, is the main event of the people. So people can be excited and express an uh, explosion fight and um, a smart fight. I'm going to give a master class on this weekend. Looking to get a performance bonus, huh? 100%. This is what I'm following. Awesome. Best Thank of you. Luck.